Okay, so here's what we're planning to do today. We're going to do a flight down to uh, Walterboro. That is where I have my commercial check ride scheduled. The intention to go down there is to preview the uh, flight plan that I have to make sure that I can see all of the waypoints that I have. And since I um, am uh, needing to do a piloted and dead reckoning uh, flight for the check ride, I have decided that I am going to go down to Walterboro, piloted and dead reckoning. I have right here my uh, VFR navigation log, and I have turned off all of the things in uh, in this that will tell me where I am. I am going to put this just on the timer so that I can see. Th so I don't have any uh, cheats there. Uh, this is going to be all uh, pilot engine dead reckoning. Now, if something goes wrong and I get very confused, I will, of course, um, revert back to uh, what I can to get myself unlost. I don't anticipate that, but we'll see. Power is set and achieved. Pressures and temperatures are in the green. Airspeed's alive. That's 40, 50, 60, 70, and rotate. Okay, we're going to climb out at VY at 100. Departure to the north. So, 1025 is where I would expect that to be. Clear for takeoff, runway 4 right, flank 568 with Charlie. Our ground speed is reporting 105. We had 107. Get back on our 185 course. And we are looking for the dam, which is right up there. Almost a beam of the dam. Almost at altitude. And we'll call that a beam at 1025. There is our altitude. Heading to 179. Eight six from me, you should be passing right in front of you now, about two and a half miles. And I ahead. see Hansen right now, right in front of me. We are almost over Anson. Four minutes after we should have been there. And we're right on track here. What do you see? Do you see Anson? It's right there. You should see it. Not quite yet. Alpha, the so we will call that Hanson at 10.30. Okay, next is going to be Chira in eight minutes. Okay, there's Chira. Number 70 Whiskey, sir, are you looking to do uh, an approach into Florence? Or are you looking to just overfly Florence on your way to Walkboro? Uh, negative on the approach. I am doing pilotage and dead reckoning navigation, and so I need some landmarks. And uh, I'm just going to overfly. 7-0 Whiskey. 7-0 Whiskey, Roger. Okay, so that's 1039. And now we are looking for Darlington, which I see. I can actually see Darlington. And we're just going to point straight at it. I wonder if you can see... Maybe not. Well, let's give it a try and see what happens. Yeah, 
Maybe. Not a bright, you might be a, not be able to see it. Okay, there is Darlington. Two runways that are closed and one that is open, but the concrete is still there. You can tell that they're closed because they have big yellow X's on them, which indicate don't land here. Okay, let us call that crossing Darlington at 10.45. 45. So we are a little bit faster than anticipated. Our next heading should be 186. What is next? We are going to follow 95 as soon as we see 95. There is Florence out there. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can see Florence off in the distance. This, I believe, is the town of Florence directly below us. Yes, that is correct. And the interstate could be just this side of the airport. Okay, those big loop-de-loops on the ground there, that is the intersection of I-95 and I-26. I-95 is crossing our right to left. I-26 is the one that is uh, sort of um, crossing over the top of I-95. And we're going to follow I-95. OK, so let us say we're crossing that waypoint at 1051, which was six minutes after we're supposed to. So now we just start following 95 down. Or, or six minutes after our last waypoint, which is exactly where we're supposed to be. That was supposed to take us 6.2 minutes, and it took us six minutes. So, you know, we are very much on track. And our next waypoint is going to be I-95 and 378. And we are still following I-95 around there. That is uh, where we're going. That little path through that we see ahead of us. 34 seven, contact Florence approach, 135. Is that thing. So we should expect to get to 378 before we see that little path come through. That is not something that is visible on the um, DFR sectional, but it is definitely something that is visible overhead. And I think the potential 378 sighting. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's got to be it. Yeah, that's 378 right there. Double check some uh, other information that we can see. So it should go off into Tuberville. And it does. It does. Okay, yep, that's the intersection I'm looking for. That is definitely the intersection I'm looking for. And we will call that arrived at 11 a.m. Okay, next should be the town of Manning in 5.7 minutes. And I think I see the town of Manning. Okay, just after... Yep, yep, I see it. I do see it. It's just after... It's just after this little um, green crossway thing right there and uh, on the left, so I am confident that's it. This thing over here looks like it could be a runway, but it is not. Just, let me see if you can see it. Right over there, 
That guy there could have been a runway at some point, but is it? I don't see a runway. I wonder if it... Yeah, I don't know what it is. So, my plan here has me on the right side of 95, um, but I am uh, obviously flying on the left side of 95 uh, so that I can uh, more easily see 95 out my window instead of having to look over here. And there is Manning. One hundred forty nine knots ground speed is like a hundred and seventy miles per hour. We are cooking. Of course, we're going to have to pay for it on the way back. So we would expect to be at Manning at eleven oh six. And we're going to be there at 11.05. We had predicted 148 knots ground speed, but we are doing 149, so not too bad. And... Let's call that crossing manning right now at 11.05. Okay, so the next place we're gonna go to is 245. I can see the bridge I wanna cross. So I am going to fly at it. That is the bridge that we are wanting to navigate to, although we w really want to be over here, instead of down here. Just drew things on the map incorrectly. I, you know, I'm going this way, and uh, I'm going southbound. Left should be um, to the lower right of me, but for some reason when I was uh, planning this, I just got myself turned around backwards. don't have far to go. See what it says in terms of distance. 42 miles is what it says. And it thinks it's going to take 16 minutes. That seems, maybe, that seems plausible. Charlie Alpha, level 8, Malibu 33, Charlie Alpha, top approach, Charlie Alpha, 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 Charlie
Uh, we are currently at 1,800 climbing to 3,000. Automated weather observation. One, six, one, three. Zulu weather. Wind, zero, four, zero, at eight gusts. One, zero, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, niner, Celsius, two point, minus, five, altimeter, three, zero, two, niner. Three zero two nine. We're at zero four zero eight gusting four. So let's see what runways do we want to take. Zero four zero. We're going to take runway five. Okay. So two two hotel hotel. We'll be looking. Thank you. Reach four three zero. Traffic one o'clock. One to five miles northbound. Eight thousand five hundred thirty. Is one two two point eight. Okay. Next. Two Sierra Kilo. Turn left heading one four zero. One four zero two zero kilo. Okay, we are almost at I twenty six. Hope you see that. Charleston November two three nine Golf Alpha. Uh, good morning. Approaching two thousand. Uh, going the left, heading uh, two five zero. We'll call that passing. 1117. 239 Gulf Alpha Charleston departure, identical on the tank, 10,000. Let us do a descent checklist. Mixture is good, carb heat is off fuel. We need to switch fuel tanks. Fuel pump goes on. Fuel goes to the right main. Fuel pump goes off. Fuel pressure is good. Preset the timer. Thousand approach, Cherokee 9070 Whiskey. I have Walter Burrow on site. I can cancel flight following. For 7070 Whiskey, radar service is terminated. Squawk VFR change visor for improved traffic 12 o'clock and 2 miles. Type on out to get 3,400 feet. Additional traffic 2 o'clock and Two miles, type unknown, out to gate 3,000 feet. Again, radar services are terminated. Squawk VFR, change advisory, proceed approved. Squawk VFR, uh, change of advisory, thanks for your help, and look for traffic. Squawk VFR, change of advisory, 